I received this multimeter type ET828 with oscilloscope functionality from the online retailer Vivor. The portable measuring device allows the recording of many physical quantities of electronic components as well as voltages and currents in circuits. The device's software enables many modes for recording the measured values. The multimeter is delivered well packaged with a printed instruction manual in English, three Magnon cells, as well as the two test leads. Before switching the multimeter on, let's take a look at the inner components. After loosening four screws, the rear half of the housing can be removed. All components are soldered onto a single circuit board. This also applies to the 500mA fuse, it is not a replaceable fuse in a glass tube. A microcontroller type STM32 is used as main processor. The larger chip type CN7721 is an analog to digital converter. On the front of the board there is the color screen with a resolution of 320x240 pixels and dimensions of 49x37mm. The terminals for the function keys and the rotary switch are also located here. As lock for the rotary switch, two steel balls mounted on springs are installed. Before turning the multimeter on, the three batteries must be inserted into the slot on the back of the device. The test leads are not super flexible, but they should fulfill their function if treated with care. There are simple steel tips under the protective caps. So let's turn on the digital multimeter for the first time. If the rotary switch is set to a mode, the microcontroller boots and the measured value appears on the display after about 2 seconds. Switching between the individual modes occurs almost without delay. Modes for measurement include DC and AC voltages, frequencies, resistance, capacitance, as well as alternating and direct currents. I demonstrate some of the functions for resistance measurements, for the other physical quantities the procedure is roughly the same. By default, the measuring range is automatically selected by the software which is sufficient for most applications. As soon as the ends of the resistor to be measured touch the probe tips, the resistance value can be read. If the measuring range is to be selected manually, this can be done by pressing the R button. Each time you press this button, the measuring range changes. The automatic mode can be reactivated at any time by pressing the F4 key. To get the variation in a bunch of components, Relative values can be displayed, which I show with several 2.4 kilo ohm resistors. To do this, the reference resistor is connected and the desired measuring range is set with the R key. If the F1 key is now pressed, the current value is stored as reference. The difference to the stored value is now displayed.
The peak hold mode is activated by pressing the F2 key. Now in addition to the current one, the minimum and maximum value is also displayed at the bottom of the screen in small digits. Before disconnecting the resistor from the test leads, the measurement must be stopped using the F3 key. After connecting the next resistor, the measurement can be resumed with the F2 key. This method can be used to determine the range in which the resistance values are. By pressing the F3 key, additional modes for resistance measurement can be selected. In diode mode, the polarity of these components can be determined. When connected in the forward direction, the forward voltage is displayed. The continuity test is also a resistance measurement. An acoustic signal is triggered as soon as the resistance falls below a given threshold. Capacitances can also be measured in this setting of the rotary switch. To test the frequency measurement I use an Arduino Uno microcontroller that outputs square wave signals. There is nothing to set in this mode, only the measured value is shown on the display. Let's move on to the oscilloscope function, which can only be activated for current and voltage measurements by holding down the R key for about 2 seconds. The function keys can be used to adjust the common oscilloscope settings as the time base, the triggering, or the measuring range. The adjustment using the function keys is a bit fiddly, but with a little practice you can get the desired signal shape quite quickly. It is not a full fledged oscilloscope, but the functions are sufficient to capture quick measurements in frequency ranges up to around 100 kHz. To measure capacitors in the millifarad range or to measure current, the red test lead must be plugged into the corresponding socket. As always when dealing with multimeters, the following also applies here. Swapping between sockets should only be done when the probe tips are disconnected from the circuit and before reconnecting, it is essential to check whether the test leads are connected to the correct sockets. The ET828 from Vivo is a very practical all round measuring device for troubleshooting electronic circuits, identifying components or for training purposes. I'll save you from reciting all the technical specs of the device. If you would like to read this and find out more about the functions of the device, the well written operating instructions are available on the pages of How Open Is This Gadget? Have a click! Thanks for watching and I'll be back.